CBS 47 News is on your side this afternoon, stepping in to help with a home renovation gone wrong. A South Valley man called us for help after he says he paid a man to redo his bathroom. That man is also a Valley pastor. CBS 47 investigative reporter Madeiras Babb joins us now live in studio in Madeiras. The homeowner claims that that pastor never finished the job. That's right, Brian. The Tulare man I spoke with says he's a veteran on a fixed income, and when this project went south, he was left without a place to shower. But here at CBS 47, we are on your side, and we worked to get his money back. So this is the hose. This might look like a typical garden hose, but for Henry Ramos, it's what he used to bathe for weeks. I'll sit right here. Ramos would shower in the backyard as a child, but never expected his life would come full circle. Well, to get up in the morning and you have to go run around to use a bit, do your business over there, or in the evening when it's hot and I'm out exercising, come home and I got to go shower out back with the water hose in the evening. It's just not, not good. I felt I was being robbed by a pastor. Ramos has lived in this house for decades, and this year he decided it was time for a facelift. He sold his Harley and used the money to hire a local pastor who does home projects on the side. And he was a pastor recommended by a friend, a good friend. A receipt from May 17th shows the man quoted $4,500 for the project. He was given an $1,800 deposit that day. Everything was good. Everything was good. Green lights all the way. And then ran into... Red lights. Ramos says after the initial demo, the project halted. Ramos demanded his money back, and after several calls, a receipt shows on June 30th, $1,100 was returned. But Ramos was still out $700. Now, this was in July. He said he was going to come by on a Monday. He didn't show up. Thursday passed, I put a sad face. Friday passed, I put another sad face. Ramos showed text messages with the man. In the text, he made several excuses. If you can just work with me a bit, it's been two months, dude. I'm tired of working. We reached out to the man. He wouldn't interview on camera, but agreed to do a phone interview. Hello? The man said he told Ramos the project would take a bit longer because of other projects he was working on and says he only planned on returning $350 because he says he spent $350 on supplies. We asked for the supply receipts but never got them. So if you said you were going to return the $350, why in July um, did that not, not go through? I didn't have it. I just, that's the simple truth. I just didn't have it. Ten days okay. after CBS 47 got involved, the man returned half of the money, and he agreed to return the okay. other half in two and weeks to in resolve August. the issue. On August 22nd, I checked in. On the 30th, I checked in. I had no response from you on the 14th. Finally, after a month and a half, Ramos got all of his money back. I texted Madeiras what was going on on 47 on my side, and she took care of it. She got the ball and scored. <laughs> he did say he felt like he was robbed by a pastor. What is your response to that? Well, first of all, the money was returned, maybe not in the timely manner that uh, we had agreed upon, but it was returned. And secondly, um, there was never no intent to rob him. That was never even an intent. New cabinets, new. Ramos hired a new contractor, and finally, his bathroom completely finished. And no more showers outside. This no is the new more. shower. <laughs> no more showers al fresco. If you or someone you know needs help, call CBS 47 on your side at 559-761-0383 or email us at onyourside at cbsfresno.com. And it was very interesting to do that story. We were happy that we were able to help Ramos in the long run. I'm Adaris Babb reporting in the studio. Adaris Babb on your side. Great job for you.